Hi everyone, my name is Jordan. I'm a personal trainer at Elite Sports Clubs and today we'll be talking about variations of a traditional lunge. When you lunge traditionally, you want to put one foot back and one foot forward. This is called a stationary lunge because we're not going to be moving forward or back in the lunge. You want to put about 85% pressure on this front leg and as little pressure on the back leg as you can. That accentuates the work done on that front leg. When you go down, you want to make sure that your front knee stays behind your front toes, your front heel stays down, and that your knees both go to about 90 degrees. So when you go down, this is kind of what it's supposed to look like. The knee is behind my toes, my heel is down, and both of my knees are at 90 degrees. If I was too long in my lunge, I would come down, and my knee is still in a correct position in front, but my back knee is a little long. Similarly, if I'm too close, this is at a more acute angle than 90 degrees, which is kind of where we want. One of the other common mistakes that people make is when they go down into a lunge, they'll lunge forward and start dropping that back knee straight to the ground, they'll come forward. Now when that happens, my heel comes up, my knee's in front of my toes, and my back leg isn't quite as bent as I'd like it to be. So when you go down, think chest up, hips under your chest, and back knee straight to the ground, and back up. If balance is an issue for you, you can find a bar to hold on to, a chair or a counter. Put your hand very gently on top as much as you need to maintain balance. Again, drop that back knee straight to the ground, and come back up. So if you do wobble, you can catch yourself and come back up safely. If you have knee pain but would still like to do lunges, don't go quite as deep in the lunge. You can come down as far as you can without pain and come back up and that will still work all the muscles that we want to in the lunge. As your muscles get stronger, it will take some of the pressure off the joints and allow us to go a little bit deeper into the lunge. And that is a traditional lunge.